Hi, I'm Lily from La La La, and I'm at Amoeba, and this is What's in My Bag. I can look directly at it. Um, I would like to talk about Universal Beings by Makaya McRaven. Makaya is a drummer who lives in Chicago and he does improvisations with um, a lot of other really cool musicians like Jeff Parker, Junius Paul, Brandy Younger, who's a harp player who's really good. And he records his improvisations and then he takes the recordings and cuts them up and makes them into compositions and beats and stuff. And they're so cool. I love this record. And it's also um, from the label International Anthem, which I swear every single record on that label is out of this world. And I'm obsessed with. Okay, these three women I do not speak French, so I don't know how to say this. I know it's Les Filles uh, de Ilgadet. It's just a record that I love. They like they sing in unison, and it's extremely beautiful. <laughs> Riding on waves of meditative riffs and the percussive power, the resonant voices on this album are echoes of pre-modern life re reverberating into the 21st century. And they put out a couple records. Again, everything they do is really good. And plus this is a beautiful cover. Beautiful record. John Carroll Kirby. This is a piano record. John Carroll Kirby is a piano player um, contemporary now. I think this came out like two years ago, but it's so beautiful. I've just, I've been listening to a lot of instrumental music and ambient music um, recently, I think, because everything's very stressful <laughs> and uh, having other people's words is sometimes a little much. <laughs> um, and then this song, the, my favorite song is um, Walking Through a House Where a Family Has Lived. That is a beautiful song and another really cool cover. Britney Spears, ever heard of her? <laughs> I'm not that I picked this because Britney's amazing and it's a picture disc. And it's nice to throw a picture disc into your life every now and then. Oh my God, there's a I Can't Get No Satisfaction cover. <laughs> I didn't know that. When I um, saw Crossroads, my mom was out of town and my dad let me rent the movie Crossroads and then he got in trouble when she got back in town because <laughs> it's inappropriate. Um, but I thought that she wrote, for many years, I thought that she wrote the song I Love Rock and Roll. <laughs> I was like, wow, Britney is, is versatile. My favorite song on this <laughs> is uh, Oops, I Did It Again, or Lucky. Okay, I picked this record. I don't know anything about it, but it was in the electronic section. I like electronic music. I like the cover. This is something I do. If I like the cover of a record and it's in a section that I generally like and it's under $10, I will buy it just to see. And it's um, yielded great results. So it says, it says Audubon end line. I don't know anything about it, but let's hope. <laughs> I believe that person's gonna watch me like, okay, fuck you. <laughs> Okay, these are actually two more records that I picked that I've never heard before. I love xylophone and I love vibraphone, and this is advertised as a Ghanaian xylophone master, which you don't hear a lot. Master of xylophone, so I'm really excited about this. Um, okay, I chose a Bjork shirt <laughs> in XL. 
Um, Bjork is one of my idols. If I could emulate any other artist, it might be Bjork. I think she's a one-of-a-kind genius person, not a unique opinion, many people like that. I actually randomly think Bjork's a genius. <laughs> but yeah, she's incredible. Everything she's made is amazing, boundary pushing, one of a kind, not afraid to be a freak. That is in particular always an inspiring aspect of an artist is like to be as freaky as you truly are and not be afraid. This I also picked um, because it says co-produced by Vegan, who's a producer that I really like and I love the cover and it's in electronics. So this is another um, risk I'm taking. Gorgeously soulful and shimmering, intimate and surreal. And bleached eyebrows. I trust people who bleach their eyebrows. And wear tulle. Is that how you say tulle? <laughs> tulle? <laughs> yeah. Big stack, big stack. Okay. Capri songs. FKA Twigs. Kiss me, baby. Absolutely flawless. She just gets better. Everything she makes, she's just, I just really feel like she's on one. Like she's really, uh, she's fully going into herself and being a freak. And every song on this record is like unbelievable. And I feel like my favorite song changes every time I listen to it or the more I listen to it. Ride the Dragon, so good. Jealousy. Amazing mixtape. Okay, my final one. Notes with attachments. Pino Palladino and Blake Mills. Pino Palladino I, is a saxophone player who plays saxophone, at least on this record, in a way that I love, which is like really breathy. Um, it's like Mulatu sounds like that, and uh, sounds like that, and um, Alabaster de Plume, another saxophone player that I love. And this is a collaboration um, with him and Blake Mills, who's a big LA producer, um, and Joseph Lodge and Sam Gendel. I feel like they all work together a lot and it's just really cool. It sounds, it's like, sounds like a mix between improvisations and compositions and it's intr instrumental. And I just vibe it with it, it vibes. Uh, that's all my stuff. Awesome, thank okay, you so amazing. much. Amazing, most fun ever. Yay. Dream of my life. Oh, I forgot about my book. You want to talk about it? Yeah. Okay. We, we can We're back, that. bitches. <laughs> <laughs> um, fear stalks the land. <laughs> Tom York and Stanley Donwood. You know, Radiohead is a polarizing band. I think they're genius. And I don't see the point of not liking them. It feels like when people are like, Coldplay sucks. I'm like, okay, well, first of all, this is my hot take. <laughs> my hot take is that Radiohead and Coldplay are the same band and um, that they're both incredible. <laughs> and this is, uh, it just seemed interesting to me. Tommy Olkin Stanley uh, Donwood, faxes, notes, fledging lyrics, sketches, lists of all kinds and scribblings towards Nirvana, as was sent between the two authors during the period 1999 to 2000 during the creation of the Radiohead albums, Kid A and Amnesiac. Oh, this is a hat. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking with us today. No problem. Thank you. Angel.